Hey guys, today's video is a green text compilation. We haven't done one in ages, so we hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into the video. <laughs> when I first started playing D&D, the GM gave us pre-made characters to speed things along on a tutorial quest. I got a clerk, and reading through the abilities, I was super hyped. We got ambushed by a mixture of zombies and skeletons, and I rolled high enough to go first. So I turned to the GM and say, I used Turn Undead to become a zombie too, <laughs> so I can talk her way out of this. <laughs> they shouldn't attack me because I'm one of them, right? <laughs> very innocent. I can, it's I, I, so you, you, innocent. You, you, you can see where he's coming from, you know. <laughs> like, that's not a bad one. To be honest with you, I've heard of a lot worse. Yeah. An orphan girl has been placed into the care of your party. Can your party properly handle this? I don't think so. The barbarian and fighter would put her into dangerous situations. The sorcerer might teach her to play with fire. The warlock will most likely trade her soul for more power. The rogue is more likely the reason she is an orphan. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, orphans don't really mix very well. No. With, <laughs> let's be honest, compared to most D&D groups, they tend to be fucking murder hobos <laughs> at best. Like, you know, I, I, put, put an orphan in with them. It doesn't mix, let's be honest. <laughs> but could your party, let us know in the comments down below if your party could handle it. Because I definitely know I couldn't. <laughs> One shot. The party has to investigate an imp cave. DM says that the imps are special. Starts calling them simps for short. For short. <laughs> yeah. They're transporting jars of water to put in the town's water supply. That's piss. Dot parchment. <laughs> They're under control of a succubus deeper in the cave. The simps are just mutated people who have drank the water and fallen under the succubus spell. Her name? Del Belfine. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Actually, I, I would have loved. I actually, I think that sounds like a really. Did cool. you see what she was doing? Well, what was she doing? She brought. She came back instead of selling gamer girl bath water. She was selling gamer girl condoms, and they oh, sold out off. like that. Honestly, like I'll give her credit. She's good at marketing. We have had enough examples of bad DMs. Give examples of good DMs, preferably from your own groups. Be playing Adventures League a few years ago had a cool DM who was very tolerant with our shit. We had a kid around the age of 11 in our group who was constantly sick. Kid had some sort of disability which left him wheelchair bound and constantly in and out of hospitals. Kid enjoyed playing D&D with us, but it was usually difficult when he needed to go to the hospital. Our DM realized that it would be difficult to schedule around this. Our DM also knew how much this kid loved D&D. So the DM decided to do something for the kid. The day before one of our sessions, the DM visited the kid at the hospital. The DM then gave the kid a gift. It was a laptop with a webcam that the DM bought oh, for him. That's really oh, nice. that's so oh, cute. That's actually really good. He told the kid that if he couldn't attend a session due to him being hospitalised, the kid could Skype us from the hospital to play with us. The kid never missed a single session after that. All in all, it was fun playing with that group. Oh, see, I could cry yeah, that my that's heart really that's nice, wholesome so as fuck you know I feel like we do too many horrible stories about uh, sexual misconduct furries general cringe horrible behaviour but this is pitting, just pitting so... dice in your mouth but no that's actually <laughs> that's so actually really good no that's really nice and I really enjoy that you know yeah. what I mean I think I, I... Yeah, no, I like that. I know. So I know there's going to be some people in the comments being like, eh, eh, eh. It's like no, it's hor it's it, yeah, there's nothing wrong with a bit of wholesomeness from time to time, all right? Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but I just want to talk to you about our new affiliate, Reroll. Reroll is a D&D 5th edition character builder app. Now, everyone needs a character sheet app for a tabletop game, but what makes Reroll stand out above all the rest is its character art. I personally find the character art really, really cool. It has this beautiful retro pixel art aesthetic and they are continually adding new races and items so you can customise it whatever way you want. They currently have 14 supported races, over 150 weapons and over 400 pieces of armour you can mix and match from to really make your character come to life. And the best part, you can have your own little cute companion, like a little baby penguin, a flying kitty, a stupid looking pug, or my personal favourite, a little corgi. And the best thing about Reroll, it has a free version with limited character art, so you can try before you buy and see if you like it or not. We personally think it's an amazing app that will just improve your overall enjoyment of tabletop role playing games. 
Reroll is on Apple, Android, desktop, and if you use our coupon code NECKBEARDIA at checkout, you get 10% off. It's a great affiliate that we think you guys will love. But enough of that, let's get back to the video. Why yes, my character does own slaves. Would you like to sleep with one of them tonight? Don't worry if she resists, she's just a little feisty. I see my wife is cooking dinner for us. We just got married a few months ago. She's 12 years old right now, but we shan't consummate the marriage until she reaches 14. Fighting in battle shoulder to shoulder with commoners? What kind of holy knight do you take me for? The other day, one of my servants finally found that runaway serf. And let me tell you, it felt good to give him many floggings for his impotence. Should a lawful good character be lawful good according to medieval values? Good is not, it's not <laughs> subjective, your threat has failed. Yeah, <laughs> oh. awesome. yeah, it is one of those, it is kind of hard to think. I've came across that a few times with people and they're like, oh, but it was fine back then. Why do we not, like, is it okay to do it now? It's like, uh, it's still... Because nobody wants to fuck. Yeah, I know. Look, you know, no, I'm. I, I, like, I just don't feel comfortable just, with it. If no. I'm being honest with you, I know. It, okay, it but, would, yeah, no, I don't feel cost, comfortable custom, sitting at a table, and I get it. You want to like, custom, like you know, customs are different. You want to make it a bit more historically accurate, all that. But you don't need to be going about with four, twelve year old wives. I, 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 don't know, I don't know. I think you're up to no good. Be honest with you. If you start talking to me about stuff like this, it, <laughs> it seems like you're jumping off a lot of hips to reach pedophilia. If I'm being honest with you, I'm sorry to say you're, you're jumping a lot of fucking hips here. But you know what's the glue that holds your party together what's stopping it from splitting up in order to answer this i need to discuss my party the barbarian and the fighter are married but they argue and fight constantly the only reason they do is because they are both sadomasochists <laughs> fuck. fuck it that's what you get megan can't say sadomasochists sadomasochists right. if you say it then i can say it all right there we go like, that's what you get and keep going who get off on pain and violence the sorcerer is an uncontrollable pyromaniac who enjoys lighting everything on fire and is only happy when something or someone is being bathed in fire the rogue is an antisocial murderer who has the tendency to kill anyone he feels deserves it and takes joy in gutting every single one of his victims. Oh, Megan, I had the great idea. I'm not even joking. I, Wait, been... you get a good idea after you hear about a guy gutting people? No, no, I'm going to make, uh, you know the way we sell the furry class? The furry hunter class? Yeah. We're going to make the skull shitter look subclass? Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. The warlock. Although the most controlled of the group, is using the other members of this party as a way to spread the word of his patron and in doing so allows him to gain power so he can eventually take over the realm. Yeah, Isn't that just a normal that's, warlock? That's, yeah, that's just a normal <laughs> warlock, to be honest with you. Everyone hates one another and if it was under any other circumstances, they would kill each other. The only thing that prevents this is the threat of mutually assured destruction. Also, the SETI supply of gold. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's what that's what it really comes down to from most groups. It is yeah. just like, where's the good at? Where's the lid? <laughs> where's, where, where, where's, 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 where's the Where's the where's the XP lid? Where's the booty <laughs> at? Like, you know, <laughs> it's one of those ones. I was going over, um, and you, like, I'm sure a lot of you guys know Genghis Khan. Um, if you get the chance, have a look at the Secret Life of the Mongols. It's uh, it's kind of like you know the Art of War. It only came out recently. However, it's a lot of it's translated. A lot of it comes like it's almost like mixed with fairy tale almost to a certain extent. But really, what it all boils down to is like, yeah, you can be calm, but you gotta give us a bit. You gotta give us a bit. <laughs> as long as we got the bit, we'll we'll follow you to the ends of the earth. <laughs> and that's kind of the gist of yep. what they said. Be me, level three paladin. Get jumped by a gang of cultists. Brutally murder them all. Leave one barely alive for questioning. After we question him, friendly healer druid blasts him away for almost killing him. Loot his corpse. Find a tiny bag with three tiny white balls. Looks tasty, JPEG. <laughs> Eat one immediately. No scent, no flavour. Confusion.mp4 Party begins looking at me, seeming worried. Everything slowly starts fading. Remember chasing another cult member who ate cyanide? Oh my god. To avoid questioning. Shit. Suddenly flick the black. Swap the party's POV. They see me get a thousand yard stare while I seize out and begin foaming at the mouth. I fall on the floor. Party begins panicking. 
Druid had one spell slot to cast Lesser Restoration. I wake up hours later. DM rolls a lot of dice once I wake up. Oh shit, dot gif. A smile creeps across his face. Anon. When you wake up, you notice that for some reason your skin seems rocky and thick. Your skin gives you plus one to your AC. My face when I get rewarded for my stupidity. <laughs> what did he do? Did he, tur- did he turn into... into the leather face? Into, well, I would say a mix between leather face and the thing from the Fantastic Four. <laughs> I like to imagine. Something like that. Tell, let us know what you think. What would you look like? Let us know in the comments down below. Be me. Nerdy tiefling artificer. Party investigates sketchy nightclub to try and find missing people. Party splits up to look for clues. My artificer leans against the wall and watches the crowd. Hot punk girl begins to hit on my artificer. (laughs) What's a radiant tiefling like you doing in a shitty place like this? Well, throws hair back. Maybe I'm just a shitty person. Shit finger guns. Nailed it. (laughs) Fuck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Got that one, guys. (laughs) How often do monsters attack your player characters when they are pooping in the woods? <laughs> I've never had that. Be honest no. with you, I'm kind of I'm kind of lucky. Be honest with you. No, I've been I've been attacked like sleeping and like you know with not my armor on and stuff like that. Not pooping. But never taking shit. I'm I quite... don't think I really roll for shits in my game. I never say I'm going to go for a shit. No, I've ne- I, ne- I don't know. I've never actually. I've th- never been like you know what. Let me just roll oh. to see if it's solid or wet. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know, I've never I've never like... thought about that, but I suppose I probably should. Random monsters do not roam in the king's woods as a result of his strong and virtuous rule. This is the only time monsters attack my players. Constantly. Group now makes bathrooms whenever they set up camp. Clear an area of bush within 10 feet of the shitting tent. Dig a hole. Set a tent up over the hole. Have a pooping machete inside the tent. How often does this happen? You know, I, I, I... I really hope no one does this to me now because I just don't want to have to deal with this. <laughs> I just don't want to have to deal with it. Well, maybe, like, any of you guys need to go for your shit. Have you any guys took shit? Take a machete. Like, have any of you guys took a shit in 12 hours? Like, come on here, one of you is bound to take a shit. Come on, set up the shit tent. Go on, go for it. Set up the shit tent. <laughs> well, that's what they have to do. Old D&D group wants to do an online one-shot this weekend. I, the usual DM, suggest Tomb of Horrors telling them that it's got a reputation as very difficult and that they'll probably die. They all agree to it, so I start reading through the module. My face when reading through some of this stuff. Holy shit, this is so convoluted. They're gonna fucking die. Some of these puzzles are literally just trial and error. Yeah, fuck that. Push up on the lever and you escape. Push down and a hundred foot deep pit opens up and then seals over you so that you'll never be found. God damn, that's brutal. I heard adventuring parties were supposed to have followers and other expendable NPCs that could be sent in to face check shit instead of the actual party. That's not a bad idea. That isn't a bad idea. But, but... I play a paladin a lot of the time <laughs> and I feel bad. I, I don't feel like I can justify using, um, let's be honest with you, straight up sleeves. <laughs> To just like yo, yo just just make sure so you no push s- that button. Push that button. You push that button, no. and you look. Nothing's gonna happen. You sure? No, look, no. I'm telling you, you be swayed. Nothing's don't worry. gonna happen. Look, if I, you push that button, I'll just be, be swayed. Don't worry. I'll give you. I'll, I'll give, give you a give, bit of copper. Go you, on. Yeah, <laughs> copper because I was Nah, fuck that. Oh, just don't give players puzzles most of the time because most of the time they're not gonna be able to do it. I Let's like. No, I like puzzles. Puzzles are fun. Dot most players just because you're not an intellectual like me (laughs) alright okay okay fine Miss Mix Mex over (laughs) here alright why is it so fucking hard for people to actually learn their class I had an arcane trickster player still not even know how spell slots work and we're at 5th level and if I hear one more player ask what a proficiency bonus is I'm gonna lose my mind okay so I rolled a hit rolls a d8 no, you have to roll the d20. Oh, and I add the d8? Thankfully, the other players are significantly <sighs> more calm. Oh, Don't get okay. me wrong. Look, okay, I'm not good. See, I'm... I, I, I forget all the time about proficiency bonuses. Yes, yeah, so I, I forget all the time about that. Spell slots aren't that bad. To be honest with you. No, they, it's not that hard. The, the, the word of diff- I think what pits people off is just because it says fifth level doesn't mean you get them at fifth like when yeah. you hit level five yeah you know what i mean i think that's kind of what 
messes with people, people and don't get me wrong there's some things but for the most part it's not that but it's more just the best way to learn is to just play it really is just play it and, and you'll text it up also pick. to read your fucking cards <laughs> yeah, yeah maybe uh, and, uh, if you just don't know, look just if, if, you know what if you don't know what to do read your cards uh, if you don't know how to use spells just play a fighter just play, just play, <laughs> yes. just, just play a yes. fighter just don't bother with Exam- an arcane yeah. trickster um, you'll have a much easier time so you will you enjoy yourself a lot more yeah. as well just go in and whack the shit out of yeah. uh, what do you want to do I cast um, Boinkins <laughs> 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 I, I, I cast uh, Boink on the head And that is my turn over Oh wait I hit level 5 I get 2 Boinkins now Sweet Don't need Oh you know what I'm going to go champion I get long reach Boinkins uh, uh, No I'm going to go champion So that means Whenever I get a 19 I can also get Double Boinkins Not just on a 20 It just makes like, Just go with it Just go with If you don't know what you're doing I cast go with, Just go with a champion fighter You really can't fuck it up That badly you know what I mean? And it actually is a fun class. To be honest with you, people say, oh, human champion fighter. Like, it's fun. Okay, I don't care, all right? You play whatever you want to play. This feels like, you know, the Giga Chad memes. Like, why, yes, I do play a human fighter. How could you tell? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I feel like sometimes. All right, boys, this is a mini episode of, of Confession Sins. <laughs> we haven't had a, a confession in a while. So just mini, mini. Just mini edition. A DM pissed me off by siding with his murder hobo girlfriend over me after I killed her in self-defense. He revived her and killed my character, making me roll a new one with lower stats because my last one had lucky rolls that he thought made me too powerful. Be honest with you, I played with a fella a wee while back and he's like, yeah, no, I rolled for them on the Discord at five in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just keep going and deleting all the other ones. <laughs> and the boy had like 18. He had like, this lowest stat. His lowest stat was a 14. It's like, why, yes, I did go for these stats. I can tell. <laughs> just keep going like, deleting everything. Just, like, come on here. So, like, so, you know. It made me too powerful. <laughs> so I decided to systematically ruin his fun by throwing a wrench in his serious grim derp story trivializing combat encounters with stupid tricks that often killed my character but brought things off the rails and generally messing up his railroading story as much as humanly possible. This continued for almost a year. He clearly didn't like me but everyone else in the group was a friend of mine and enjoyed my memeing as well as not suspecting me anyway. He eventually stopped DMing and playing permanently because he just wasn't having fun anymore. I regret nothing <laughs> Ooh, that's a bit okay now that's a bit of heavy revenge now but like you know be honest with you don't he, be a simp to your girl <laughs> yeah he kind of did but you, be honest with you the DM did kind of bring that on himself yeah. you know what I mean like ugh, you know don't get me wrong why couldn't you just roll up another character then? yeah it was no that's a that's a really poor way to handle it let's be serious yeah that is pure this feels like a simp you're simp, a simp please, you're, you're a simp, simp. <laughs> deal with it you know so yeah, he's the fucking simp here then. <laughs> You're the simp, simp, You're the simp, simp. simp. All right, well, no, I quite enjoyed them. I, I we haven't done like a green text compilation in a while, and I thought it was a bit of fun. Uh, we're doing really well with the mouth swear. Um, we actually the vid, the channel itself has actually picked up quite a bit. Um, you know, so thanks for everyone that's watching and subscribing. You know, yeah, it's nice for to... anybody new that's rolling in on here. <laughs> yeah, it's quite nice. You know what I mean? That we're, you know what I mean? We've been, well, I've been, I've been working on the channel for two and a half years, and Megan started joining us in what was it, August, o- October, October, September, October, September, sometime like that. So yeah, it's nice that everything's working out nicely. But like, um, you know, if you're interested, you know, subscribe, recommend any of the videos to any of your mates. If you find it funny, you know, it's yeah, nice share to... on Facebook, Twitter, yeah, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? Helps us out a lot. But like, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I think it was actually a lot of fun recording this video. Yeah. I, I enjoyed myself anyway. So like, you know, like as long as I enjoyed it, <laughs> I just I I'm. I just like talking shit. <laughs> yeah, be honest with you. It's, it's a bit of fun, but like, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, we've got plenty of stuff lined up for you the rest of the week. Yeah. So, like, check we'll... all the links down below and, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.